so next is parastomal hernia do you use mesh prophylaxis for uh, stomach formation uh, so the use of mesh in the colostrum formation for elective colostrum cancer is safe and is recommended by both the ACP GBI and European Hernia Society guidelines albeit with proviso that the long term and the quality of uh, life data are required there have been over 10 systematic uh, reviews and meta analysis published on the topic of mesh prophylaxis although all these people have been demonstrated reduction in the parastomal herniation the quality of some of the rhythmic controls have been questions if placing a mesh i would position it in a retro rectus plane if possible no recommendations can be made with regard to the mesh type further rhythmic control trials are going uh, ongoing a long-term follow-up is awaited stoma const smart prevent and stoma mesh trials these three trials are ongoing to um, we will we are awaiting to see the results you're reviewing a patient in surgical outpatient the system symptomatic parastomal hernia what are the management principles so take a full history and examination organize cross-sectional imaging to assess the hernia abdominal content and uh, and abdominal wall looking for concomitant insulin hernias concomitant very nice word concomitant now focus on the symptoms and how the hernia is affecting the patient's quality of life advise and conservative measures by stoma care stoma care nurses stoma belts and appliances uh, <clears throat> abdominal core exercise if surgical repair is appropriate i would explain the risks and benefits of surgery as well as the various options general and specific complications including the recurrence of the hernia Smoking cessation and BMI less than 35 are essential to reduce the risk of recurrence. Cardiopulmonary exercise testing and advice from the anesthetic and intensive acid colleagues. Uh, um, intensive colleagues can be very helpful for risk assessment, optimization, and stratification of post op care, for example, high dependency. Multiple techniques have been described open, retroactive mesh repair, and uh, laparoscopic, that is, uh, sugar baker and keyhole. Other than the use of mesh, no technique has high quality evidence to demonstrate superiority to another. You are the on-call surgical consultant and the patient comes present with a strangulated parastomal hernia. How would you manage them? You can assume that they have been resuscitated. History examination, bloods and CT have been performed. There is a strong evidence for the using a mesh in the repair of the parastomal hernia due to the high recurrence rate with the suture repair in the elective setup. But, however, in emergency setting, the focus is on saving the life. I would optimize the patient and discuss the risk of surgery with the patient and an anesthetist intensivist colleagues use of perioperative risk calculators like p-possum can be useful to assess the risk i would perform the safest and least invasive procedure possible this would entail uh, resecting any compromised bowel and reforming the stoma with healthy bowel i would repair the defect of the suture repair and not use mesh the patient should be followed up as there is a high risk of recurrence if this occurs i would treat them as we have mentioned previously Thank you.